Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to the Grizzly Digital Network. From Lawrenceville, Georgia, GGC takes down Point Park University in an NAI Top 25 matchup by a score of 10 to nothing. We're joined now by our Grizzly of the Day, presented by Jets Pizza on Sugarloaf Parkway, and the newest Grizzly in Henry Daniels. Henry, yes, how are you, my friend? It's good to be here. We're glad to have you here. Uh, this was an NAI Top 25 matchup that had a lot of promise and potential as we jump into the highlights here. But, man, this is one of the most dominating performances the Grizzlies have had in this early of a season. You're, you're new to all this. You're new to the jersey and the facility and this team. You've been here all of about six weeks. What's been it like for you trying to get acclimated to all this? It's been great. I want to just first and foremost thank the coaches for giving me a chance here. And then it's just the environment and the culture we have. It's a big thing for us to play for each other, not for yourself. Yeah, and so uh, – We'll get into to what that means and the mudita of this team and the, and, the, and the energy that they got going on. But tell me what it means for you in making a long, long road trip out to Louisiana and back. You come back 7-1, and one, Mark, but now you come back home. Are you starting to get the familiar to the ballpark and it is becoming a home for you? Oh, it's always good to be home. But the road trip did put a tax on our guys. It was nine or so hours there and back and stopping half between playing the top five matchup against a good team. And we enjoyed it, but for sure it took out a lot of us on our bodies and coach gave us a couple of days off and a day extra. That really helps. Well, that certainly helped and it showed it today. Uh, the Grizzlies exploded for two runs in the second, one run in the third, and then the game got out of hand quickly in the bottom of the sixth with a five spot. The Grizzlies win 10 to nothing and instilled a 10 run rule. What was supposed to be a nine in the game got cut short. Gage Williams gets to start and he goes a career high, ties a career high, 12 strikeouts. What's his energy like when he's out there mowing people down, comes back in the dugout? Is it one of those, I don't talk to him, I don't touch him, I don't look at him, and he just does his thing? What's it like being his teammate? Well, it's a gauge start day. This is his seat right here. I just got lucky today to <laughs> take his spot on the <laughs> network. But, yeah, he's a, he's a dog up there for sure, and you understand that pretty much you just give him one most days, you have a good chance of winning the ball game. And so Gage Williams picked up his third win of the season and three starts now. And again, uh, ties its career high with 12 strikeouts. But I, I want to get into you, and you're going to get uncomfortable on me real quick here as we talk about you. I know this right. is, is a very uh, a team atmosphere. You're talking about playing for the other one. But for you, bringing a large bat to the middle of this lineup, what sort of responsibility or maybe even pressure did you feel when, when Sheets brings you here? It's like, oh, by the way, you're, you're DH and pretty much in the cleanup spot behind a player of the year in A.J. Sepkowski. Yeah, there's always pressure for sure, and he's been put on a couple times where they've wanted to face me, which is, that's new to me, new territory, but pressure's a good thing. You always, yeah, that's what you ask for as an athlete is to feel that pressure and get to be a part of those moments. And so uh, in your second at-bat in the third inning, a little bit uh, out in front, excuse me, home run over the right field wall. It's going to feel good to be in a Grizzly uniform and hit that first home run as you try to run a base is what was going through your mind. Just a, like getting that weight off your shoulders almost, getting the first one out of the way. But we had some good wind today. That did help a little bit, I will say. <laughs> Was it 9-iron or 7-iron on, on, on the first home run? Not a big golfer. So. <laughs> you got it over the yellow. Fair fair enough. We got it over the yellow. That's, that's important. But uh, walk me through that second at bat because we've seen plenty of left-handed hitters hit home runs over the right field wall. Right-handed, excuse me, left-handed hitters hitting over the left field wall, that's a little bit different. We don't see too many of those. Walk me through that plate appearance and what your approach, approach is at the plate. Well, once I saw Blaze do it, I knew it was possible. Hadn't seen one, well, I've seen Joe do it to center. Hadn't seen one in left field here yet. So he kind of broke the ice for us. And plus, again, the flag shifted, good wind to left. So. <laughs> and so barreled a ball up there, picked up your second home run in a Grizzly uniform. And so for you, kind of, Getting getting comfortable, or, or what is the feeling? Are you getting comfortable? Are you getting acclimated? Where's the confidence level at right now? There was some time off since last year, and for sure, it takes a little while to get back into. They say the swing of things, but it really is yep. getting back into the swing of things. And for sure, I'm getting more comfortable. It's the confidence that the coaches give me, my players, my teammates, everybody around me, and my family, all helping me get more comfortable, more confident the further we get along. Well, if you get more comfortable and more confident, I can't imagine what the future is going to hold for you and this lineup. Uh, I'm going to throw you under the bus here. You, you said, you know, we won 10 to nothing, and, and we both said that that was a pretty good team, and you said, I'm, I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like getting into being a Grizzly here these days? That's just the standard here. It doesn't matter who's in that dugout. It all matters about who's in ours. 
and they can be a top, it can be number one team in the country, or it can be a team that won a game all year, but we're going to play to our standard. And that standard shows today the Grizzlies take down the, the 20th ranked team in the nation, Point Park University, by a score of 10 to nothing. We'll all come back here tomorrow. We'll add our friends from Tacoa Falls, too, as well. We'll jump on the air for you guys uh, middle of the afternoon there for George Gwinnett versus Point Park for the second time in two days. Uh, Henry, I, I know uh, the green is probably new for you. The teammates are probably new for you. And here's the newest part for you here. When you're the Grizzly today, you get shout outs. Get shout -outs. Have, have they given you a heads up on this? They gave me a warning, but I've watched the old ones, so I know. Okay, so you saw Gage and what he did and, and what yes, it sir. means. Okay, all right. Well, you've got the floor, my friend. Maybe right. that be the last time you see uh, Henry sitting here next to me. So <laughs> give me some shout outs. Who you got? I'm going to shout out mom and dad and everybody watching back home. And then also give one of the guys at first base, um, Caden, Lush. And then last but not least, after my first at bat, I was getting some water. And I saw Tommy Ross, and he just said, you can do it. So shout out Tommy Ross. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Grizzlies getting it done here today uh, off the, uh, a complete team performance. Gage Williams' right arm and a, and a bat of the big lefty here and Henry Daniels. Henry, congratulations, my man. Thank you. That'll do it for us here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. We'll see you guys tomorrow right here on the Grizzly Digital Network.